So in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to make your workday just a little bit better by giving yourself and others some time back in their day. So in Outlook, we're going to look at how to change the default time to give a little bit time back between meetings, because I'm sure you're working remotely. Maybe some people are in the office and your calendar's just like meeting, 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 meeting. You're thinking, oh, when am I going to get time to actually stretch my legs or prepare for the next meeting? Well, that's exactly what this video is for. So to be able to give some people back some time, all we need to do is from Outlook, just go to the top left here to file, and then you need to go down to options. And then when you're in options, just select calendar. And then what we're gonna see under the calendar options is shorten appointments and meetings. And if we select that, it's now gonna give us a few things. We can do end early or start late. Well, we wanna give people some time back in the day. So we're gonna just choose the end early, which is the default. And now what you can do is you can see that you've got less than one hour. So if you're creating a meeting or appointment and it's less than one hour, we're gonna give five minutes back for somebody's day. So if it's a 30 minute meeting, it's now only gonna be a 25 minute meeting. And if you select this, you could change that between five, eight or 10 minutes. And then you can choose for one hour or longer meetings, which by default, it gives 10 minutes back. Well, you could change it again to five or 15 minutes. So once you've selected how much time back you want in your day, you can then just go ahead and hit OK. And now at this point, if we go create a new meeting or you know, a new appointment, what we're going to see is that the time now shows 9.30 to 9.55. Beforehand, I would have gone 9.30 to 10, but we've just given back everyone a little bit more time. So this is a really quick and easy thing to do. Hopefully you'll do this on your Outlook just to give everyone that little bit of a breather. And it is worth mentioning if you make this change, it's actually going to replicate that or sync it to Outlook on the web as well. So if you're in Outlook on the web, you can go create a meeting or an appointment and this is going to adhere to it. So that's all it is today, a quick remote work tip. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next week for another video.